Welcome to Rev It Up Bowling. My name is Jason Robars, and today we have another ball review for you. Uh, what we're going to be do doing is reviewing the brand new Deviate Wicked Collision. Uh, this is, ball will be announced here soon when the, this video drops. Uh, we'll be out here in about two weeks. If you want one, pick one up at your local pro shop. What this ball sports is a HK22C cover sock, reactive solid, of course. It has a 2.47 RG and a 0.052 differential with a 0.019 intermediate differential in 14 pounds. 15 is pretty similar. This bowling ball itself, I threw some of the other collisions, very strong bowling balls. This is definitely gonna be one of those asymmetrics that can be one of the bigger balls in your bag, no doubt. Um, for me, what I did on this one was did a nice little pinup layout. Uh, what I've noticed here recently, I've done a lot of pin down stuff. Sometimes I'll at higher volumes, I get a little too much continuation and sometimes it just doesn't see the lane enough. I want to experiment with a lot more pinup stuff, especially ASIMs, just to control the lane front to back. That's the idea with this one. We're going to be bowling on house shot. Easy, nothing outrageous about it. 42 foot, slightly higher volume than a typical house shot just because it is a very strong bowling ball. So I want to be able to play throughout the whole lane. So uh, what we're going to be doing today is I'm going to start throwing some shots up the gutter kind of get lined up and then play around from there. Without further ado, let's get into it. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna throw some shots kind of for a second arrow-ish. It's probably gonna hook too much, but we'll give it a shot. I just wanna get lined up, play around and figure out what I wanna do after that. Let's throw some shots. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. I mean, pretty close to gutter house shot, a friction. So why do we want to buy a big block asymmetric like this one? Well, when you guys are thinking, of this kind of bowling ball. These are the most expensive balls on the market. We definitely want to do our due diligence in trying to decide if we need it or not. With this bowling ball, it's really gonna be used for higher volume, or if you're a lower rev rate player, maybe higher speed player, uh, this can help blend out the lane quite a bit. For me, being a little bit more rev dominant, this is for sure gonna be more, probably more sports shot, not much house unless I feel like hooking the whole lane. Uh, but when you are trying to decide your asymmetric solid in your bag. We want, you know, some control for sure. Again, bigger bowling balls, maybe only used for game one, game two, but they definitely have their use. If you need to control the pocket, ASIMs like these do a very good job. <sighs> that one went high. I'm gonna move a little bit more left, even get lined up. I do also, I wanna try to strike from every area, so I'll be adjusting accordingly. Not bad, sent it right a little bit, but we're gonna throw another shot from there with a full rack. Wicked Collision, the other collisions. This is their second iteration of the solid, I believe. The first one was definitely strong. As you can see, this comes out of factory with 1500 compound, makes it a little bit more skid flippy. If you're looking for something, if you're thinking this is gonna be more skid flippy than the Violent, you're definitely wrong on that one. Uh, the Violent is their Pearl. Uh, it's definitely more skid flippy than this, but with this a solid with less of a grit on here and the 60 by five and a half by 35 I put on this, it should make it a lot more skid flippy. But the idea for me is to get the energy burned up so I can control the pocket a little bit more front to back. That way, like I mentioned before, my pin down stuff sometimes just doesn't see the lane enough. We're gonna do some experiments with this. All right, we're gonna throw another shot from that area. All right, still a little too much. I pulled it a teensy bit. So far what I've seen, it's definitely quicker to respond. Remember guys, when you're looking at ASIMs, look at the intermediate differential. That'll help kind of tell you what the total differential will be. Higher the intermediate, the more it's gonna want to spend its energy more quickly, or i.e. flip uh, more quickly. So uh, when you guys are looking at those kind of bowling balls, keep in mind the intermediate diff helps them transition a little bit quicker. All right, let's go ahead. All right, let's go ahead and move left a little bit, just give myself a little bit more room. But I will speed it up some, just because I don't want to have to wheel the lane the whole time. All right, I'm going to move left a little bit, but I'm going to pick my speed up, just because I don't want to wheel the whole lane. Ah, I think I got to, I definitely have to belly this ball more. We're bowling on 42 foot. I mentioned a little bit higher volume, but it's a strong bowling ball. And with that surface, that's on it, which is the most important part. It definitely likes to store more energy, get down lane and, and, and respond more quickly with the compound. I bet you if I had thousand on this, it'd be a lot slower. Let's go ahead, move a little bit more left and let's try to strike. Uh, 
<laughs> this ball's strong. It's very strong. <laughs> Dang, that thing took off. Um, so with that 35 Val I put on it, definitely makes it very quick to respond. I honestly feel like sometimes when I need a quicker responding ball, sometimes with this, it's almost like I need more friction in the mids just to get it slowed down. It's not so quick to transition. We're gonna move left a teensy bit more. Let's see if we can finally strike. All right, that was better. Yeah, I can definitely see how quick it is, for sure. That's the number one thing I'm seeing right now. I already knew the ball was gonna be strong, but when it transitions, it's fairly quick right now. Now, a lot of that does have to do with the surface, as I mentioned, but with that high intermediate depth, it wants to be a little bit more flippy. Um, shots I would wanna use this on would probably be higher volume, probably a little longer. Uh, since it wants to respond so quickly, I could probably get away with a lot more length on the lane than, than this longer patterns. All right, let's throw another shot. Hey, it's not an eight pin. That wasn't too bad. I leaked it right just to see what the recovery would be. And as we can see, it wasn't phenomenal. So far, as far as what I need to do to change my angles, I need to get the ball into a roll a little bit earlier, get that energy burnt up. It's just not, it's transitioning, but it's not slowing down as much as it needs to. We're gonna just give this a little bit more of a roll. Oh God, it's so quick. It's so quick. For, I struggle sometimes controlling low valve numbers just the quicker the response. I don't typically need help with that, but on bowling alleys like these that have a high, um, or I'm sorry, bowling, bowling lanes like these that have very clean back ends, kind of newer surfaces, like to store more energy with the ball because it's not burning energy and they respond a lot quicker. As you can see, the farther I've actually moved left, the quicker the ball's got. The reason for that is, is I'm in more volume. It's not burning energy yet, it's storing more for the back end. But in order for me to get this ball to slow down some, what I'm actually gonna be doing is moving into the friction. I already know now that moving left, it's gonna respond a little bit more quicker. If I move right, I should be able to get into the dry the only caveat is it is a very strong bowling ball. It might just hook too much in general, but we're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna move a little bit more far to the right, get the ball into a roll a little bit more, um, and hopefully we can hold the pocket off. That was better. Still responds too quickly for what I'm trying to do. I feel like I could probably get really left and swing it more, but not everyone wants to do that. I'm trying to strike from every angle. I just, it responds so quickly, that's the problem. Try to stay up the back of it. Keep the speed up a little bit more. All right, that's better, that's better. Nothing's really working in the middle. I'm gonna try another shot right, see if I can get it to blend out but it's just, it's too strong, it's responding too quickly. So I'm gonna have to jump left. Unfortunately, not everyone plays fourth arrow, fifth arrow, but for the drilling and the lane pattern, I don't really have much of a choice. Let's try one more shot right. Again, it's probably gonna respond too quickly. And if it does, if it does work, highly doubt I could ever repeat it, but. Barely, that's like a splitter strike kind of motion right now. What I'm gonna do is move left. The ball is just too strong to try to play right and show that where that is. So I guess it shows just how strong this ball is. So that's nice. But we're gonna move left and we're gonna just check the recovery and everything on this. Honestly, this still might hook too much, but. It's better, burn some energy. I mean, it responded quickly, but it's not as crazy as it is over there. So we're gonna, we're gonna move a little bit deeper. Uh, just see what it looks like. And that's at the right. And then playing a lot of angle. Like, if you want to hook the lane, it'll do it. I feel like it's almost even, now the drillings are definitely different. My effect versus this, like this is way quicker to respond than my effect. But there again, I have a much slower layout on the effect. So that does make sense. However, for a solid, this thing definitely responds quickly. Hold off. All right, so it just needs to cover boards, really. I mean, <laughs> the, sh the shot shape, I mean, basically from 25 right for me, right now, was just not great. I just have too much hands, too strong of a ball, and there's not enough volume. So uh, for me right now, it's definitely something where I'd be hooking basically the whole lane with. Let's try that, get a couple more shots.
hook. All right, decent recovery. Got that one a little quick. It looks much better from deep. Way better from deep. Way better from deep. That was so frustrating. I was just trying to figure out, I mean, I was locked out from like fourth arrow right. There's just not much there. But right now it looks pretty dang good. Yeah, that thing just trucks left, Jesus. With the layout I put on this, I kind of expected it like to be more angular, especially with that drilling on it. I increased RG with the drill angle and the pin to pap. It makes sense why it's getting pretty long and storing a lot of energy, but at the same time, like league, I would not be playing this deep already. I mean, it's fun, but all right, one more shot. And then a good one. I need to take off some of that, so my hand a little cleaner. Better, better, not too bad. What I've seen with this ball so far is for a solid, it is pretty quick responding. Now, you can combat that with layouts or surface, more importantly, surface. Uh, however, with the 1500 compound, it comes out of factory which, with, which is probably one of my favorite surfaces. It is way too quick to respond for anything right a second arrow. Just too much friction, and just wants to respond too early and too quickly, and it kind of gives me this over under. When I got deeper, I was able to get the ball a little bit further down lane before it made its aggressive move. It's still very quick. However, it was able to push farther down lane, get closer to that pocket. That definitely looked a little better. The wicked collision. I'm definitely gonna have to experiment a little bit more with some pin positions. On this ball, I think it's a, I didn't expect it to be this quick to respond. Now, again, intermediate differential is quite high, so I guess I should have probably expected it, especially with that pin up, higher valve angle it's going to increase that total differential. I was expecting a little bit more of a smoother shape, but I'm not unhappy with it being a little more skid flippy. That's why we do the ball reviews. Just give you guys an idea what it does, and then you guys can figure out if it's good for yourself. If you're looking for something that's strong, can provide definitely some recovery, no doubt, and probably for higher volume, maybe longer patterns, the Wicked Collision will be the ball for you. It does come out here in about two weeks. Now remember to pick one up at your pro shop if you do want one. I find it very pretty. It looks looks good down the lane. Now I was pretty frustrated that I couldn't play right a fourth arrow. However, not every ball is meant to play every part of the lane. Just like golf, that's why we have 14 golf clubs. That's why we have 47 bowling balls, evidently for some people, um, including myself. For, for this kind of bowling ball, it's, it's gonna be probably something I open the lane up with more. Uh, if it has enough volume to get it down lane, that's gonna be pretty good. I, I really think on like a 43 to, to like a longer pattern, it just would do pretty well on. It seems like it's uh, definitely not allergic to dry. Like when it sees dry, it just, it wants to transition, right? Now that has to do with the surface and the layout, but so far what I've seen, it is quite skid flippy. It kind of reminds me of like the archetype hybrid. It is a hybrid, but man, that thing reacts more like a pearl than the effect does. Kind of similar with this. It is a solid, right? However, it does respond quite quickly. So. Don't get too hung up on the cover stock types because surface is more important and with the drilling can definitely change those. When I looked at this, I was thinking of like, maybe like Black Widow 2.0 kind of vibes. It's quicker for sure uh, than the Black Widow and I do believe it is a little stronger. If you are looking for something that does get down lane, we're decently well, like don't get me wrong, it's not the most skiff flippy ball I've ever thrown, but it is for sure for an asymmetric solid. With that said, my name is Jason Robarsh, we're Rev It Up Bowling. If you like this video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Much love, peace.